And I'm always reminded of that old viral tweet that terrorism is one of the only areas where white people do most of the work and get none of the credit. <laughs> and this episode is dedicated to the mass shootings that have taken place in the US and we're just going to declassify, decrypt and really get through the news and get to the bits that are relevant for us that the news isn't necessarily saying very clearly. To Jen, yeah. <laughs> okay so yesterday there was a terrorist attack that took place in the US, more specifically in the state of Texas in a place called El Paso which is an 80% Latino area. So the terrorist was a 21 year old white male. The news has confirmed that 20 people are dead and up to 26 people have been injured including children as well. Similar to the New Zealand attack he posted a manifesto on a website called 8chan but what we know of the manifesto is he starts off by saying I support the Christchurch shooter and then he goes on to say that this is an attack in response to the Hispanic invasion of Texas. So those people that are still questioning as to whether it's a hate crime or not, forget hate crime, it's a terrorist attack. Anytime it's a white person they keep going for mass shooter. Yeah, let's have a look, you can see shooter, 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 shooter. Now what's interesting is this website 8chan was used when the New Zealand attacks took place and then there was an attack on a Jewish synagogue that took place and now an attack has taken place yet again on the Hispanic community. Why has the website not been shut down? If it was some ISIS website it would have been shut down at the first sight of danger. You know why it wasn't shut down? Because it was first used against Muslims and hey it's Muslims you know <laughs> and it happened against Jews, hey you know it's Jews <laughs> and now it's happening against the Hispanic community. And the point here that I'm trying to raise guys is don't wait for something to happen to your community, that's the dumbest thing you can do. Whenever you see hate you knock it on the head because hate does not discriminate. Now what's even more interesting is we have pictures of the terrorist. Man, he doesn't look like he's got a single scratch on his face. You don't see him on the floor, you don't see guns being held against his face, you're not seeing him being stomped on the floor. In fact, he seems very comfortable, mate. I'm, I was shocked the fact that this guy has killed 20 people, yeah? I'm shocked as to how he's even alive. Because let's let's not forget, there was someone called Tamir Rice yeah, who was a 12 year old black child who was playing with a toy gun and he got shot dead. Let's not forget Jean Charles de Menezes in London who was shot seven times because the police thought he was a terrorist. I'm seeing a trend here, anytime it's a person of colour there's no second chance mate. But whenever it's a white person there's all sorts of excuses being given. This is the peak of hypocrisy mate. Now what makes this even worse is 14 hours later there's another shooting that takes place in Dayton. There, there's 9 people that have died and 24 people that have been injured. July 28th which is a few days ago there was another shooting in which 3 people died. In less than a week 32 people have been gunned down in three different states. Why is this not plastered all over the news? Why are people not discussing a change in policy? Because all of these attacks were done by white supremacist terrorists. The ADL says that three quarters of the terrorist deaths in the United States over the past decade were carried out by far-right domestic white nationalist terrorists. In fact Georgia State University did a study, they found that a Muslim terrorist gets four and a half times as much coverage of his crime as a non-Muslim terrorist. Right. Four and a half times. But just imagine if these attacks were done by ISIS. Imagine the outrage, imagine the discussion that would be taking place. The FBI is investigating 850 cases mostly from white supremacists and a hundred arrests have been made. In fact here was a rally where Donald Trump was talking about immigrants and someone suggested shooting them 
Let's have a look at his reaction. But how do you stop these people? You can't. There's no... <laughs> That's only in the panhandle you can get away with that statement. So guys, just because it's not happening to your kind, it doesn't mean that it shouldn't be discussed, it shouldn't be highlighted, and there shouldn't be the same outrage. Hate does not discriminate. Alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time, Salaamu Alaikum.